Here we want to find all six trigonometric ratios for 30 degrees. We'll derive that using a 30, 60, 90 right triangle. Now to begin, we'll draw an equilateral triangle. That's a triangle where all the sides are the same. Now we know for equilateral triangle, all the angles are 60 degrees. Now from that, we can drop an altitude, and that'll actually form the 30, 60, 90 right triangle that we want. Because when I drop an altitude, that'll cut this angle in, in half. And so this angle will be 30 degrees. So what we'll need is this height in terms of x. The base here is half of the entire base, which is x. So we know this leg of the 30, 60, 90 is h. This leg is x over 2, and that's x. So to find h, we can apply the Pythagorean theorem. We can say h squared plus x over 2 squared equals x squared. That's leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared. Now doing the algebra, we can solve for h. We have h squared plus x squared over 4 equals x squared. h squared equals x squared minus x squared over 4. At this point, we're going to need a common denominator, so I'll multiply numerator and denominator there by 4. And that tells me h squared equals 4x squared minus x squared is 3x squared. OK. So taking the square root, we get square root 3x squared over 4, which is plus or minus square root of 3 times x over 2. And I'll just take the positive square root and write this as x square root of 3 over 2. OK, so that's the height. And I'll write that in here x square root of 3 over 2. Now for this 30, 60, 90 right triangle, we have all the parts, all the sides, and we can now find the six trig ratios. Let me go ahead and clear out this calculation, and we'll do that here. All right. Now to find sine of 30 degrees, we know that's equal to the length opposite divided by the hypotenuse. So in this case, the length opposite of 30 degrees is x over 2. So x over 2 divided by the hypotenuse here, which is x. So that's equal to x over 2 times, well, I can think of that as x over 1 and reciprocate. We get 1 over x. Now those x's cancel, and I get 1 half. So sine of 30 degrees is equal to the ratio 1 half. Cosine of 30 degrees is defined to be the length adjacent over the hypotenuse. So in this case, we have x square root of 3 over 2 divided by x, right? Adjacent over hypotenuse, which is x square root of 3 over 2 times 1 over x, reciprocating the denominator. And you can see the x's cancel, leaving me with square root of 3 over 2. So cosine of 30 is square root of 3 over 2. And then tangent of 30 degrees is defined as opposite over adjacent. So x over 2 divided by x square root of 3 over 2, which is x over 2 times 2 over x square root of 3. OK, so in this case, the 2's cancel, the x's cancel, and I'll be left with 1 over square root of 3, which can be rationalized by multiplying by square root of 3. And we have square root of 3 over 3. All right, so sine of 30 is 1 half. Cosine of 30 is square root of 3 over 2. And tangent of 30 is square root of 3 over 3. At this point, I encourage you to type these into a calculator. Make sure you're in degree mode and actually see that your calculator gives you sine of 30 degrees as 1 half or 0.5.
cosine of 30 degrees is square root of 3 over 2 or its decimal equivalent. Okay, now let's find the reciprocal uh, trig ratios. But first, let me clear this out. Okay, so cotangents, the reciprocal of tangent, we have cotangent of 30 degrees is the reciprocal here, so square root of 3 over 1, or just square root of 3. Secant is the reciprocal of cosine, so 2 over square root of 3. I'll go ahead and rationalize that, so multiplying by square root of 3, we obtain 2 square root of 3 over 3. And then cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. So the reciprocal of 2 over 1, of 1 over 2 is just 2. And there's all six trig ratios. We should memorize those for 30 degrees. Now also, at this point, you should do the math for 60 degrees and memorize those ratios as well. I'll go ahead and show those here in the video.